Hello, it is Friday and that means it's time to do another poll on uh, healing energies for the week that's upcoming. This will be covering the week starting January the 31st and covering the first week of February. Um, for those of you who are new to this uh, feature on the channel, what am I talking about? Well, once a week I pull three cards um, as a way of for me to look at um, some of the energy surrounding my own healing journey and I publish it uh, because of people have also found it helpful and like all things tarot take what resonates with you and discard the rest and uh, I do hasten to add that this is in no way any kind of substitute for professional medical advice that you have received Healing journeys are about self-compassion and self-care. And this is not uh, a plan for turning aside the professional uh, medical opinions that you may have received up until this point. So got the card shuffled. Once again, I'm using the Healing Chakra Tarot, which is my favorite one to use for this kind of a reading. And the first card is temperance oh my goodness we have seen temperance a lot and once again this is in the, the past energy position it's moving out and this is really about that balancing right it's taking um these different threads of our lives is not too much of this and not too little of that and always bringing together our skills our resources our obstacles our barriers and balancing 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 and it's uh really associated with the root chakra which is about our security issues and it's also the solar plexus chakra which is about our willpower so we're not at the mercy of the things that uh, we've inherited um, but we may have to take some active work towards them the second card here, oh, the Ace of Swords, which has got to be one of my favorite cards. And the Ace of Swords, this is the Sword of Truth. And it's about new beginnings. It's about new thoughts, new ideas. The, the Suit of Swords is about your intellect. So this is like the ultimate card amongst intellect. And it's about um, looking at the circumstances that you are and really putting ideas and beliefs that you have and putting them to the test of the sword of truth all the lies that you can tell in a lifetime the worst ones are always the lies you tell yourself i'm no good because i'm not enough because blah 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 and all of these things that you have inherited um you past traumas and that sort of stuff it's time to take a look at them and really uh, that critical eye is this true how do i know this to be true and why do i believe this to be true and i really think that that's a starting point for many of us and finally finally the last card in here and we've seen this again in previous uh readings and this ten of wands and it's about being overburdened burdened by responsibility having a lot of demands on your time and your resources um it can be you know it's exhaustion i know this card is meant for me because right now i've just gone through the 31 days of tarot um and i have put i think i've put out like 37 videos in the month of january um so this is a card to me like girl you need to rest you need to relax you need to dial it down don't get me wrong completely enjoyed doing the 31 days of tarot but that is an unsustainable pace now we live in a culture that says you know the best thing you can do the biggest break you can make is how busy you are well i'm here to tell you the go 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 is not what we need there's a principle in yoga that we have that is the balance between effort and release effort and release and you get this all the time in, in yoga postural practices yoga philosophy uh etc and that is you put in the effort and then you release why 
for those of you who have been to a yoga class before, why is the corpse position, Shavasana, the most important posture that you're going to do in that entire um, session? And that is because that five minutes or whatever it is, is where you absorb all of the good that you have done in the posture, in the postural work. So our um, society really discourages people and kind of looks down the nose at people who rest and take some time out and uh, give themselves an opportunity to recover and to absorb what they've done. So as proud as I am of the work that I've done with 31 Days of Tarot, it's also time for me to dial down and absorb what I've learned because I've learned a lot. A lot of it's been technical and um, take that later to the next level. Um, so here, this reading has a lot of meaning for me and I hope it resonates with you. But just to review, we have temperance, which is all about balancing and keeping things going. We have the Ace of Swords in the present position, the central energy of the reading, which is about getting real about what's going on with yourself and your life. And then finally, this future energy, this idea that there's a possibility of having overwhelmed and being overburdened by something that is coming up. So the message I'm taking from this is once I've wrapped up the 31 days of tarot, I need to look at how to make running this channel more sustainable uh, and something that will uh, enhance my life and not just become another burden that I have to deal with. And I think I've got some solutions on how I'm going to do that. And I look forward to talking to you in the future. I will see you next week for the next week's reading. And in the meanwhile, have yourself an absolutely fabulous day. See ya. Bye-bye.